So we start with the lessons learned from that earthquake that rattled the North Bay. Joining us live right now, Robert DeGroote from the USGS, an expert on the state's shake alert warning system. So thank you for joining us. First, we want to get your thoughts on how the alert system actually performed, giving people a heads up before last night's quake. So how did it do? The shake alert earthquake early warning system performed exactly as planned. So we're very pleased with the results. Over 400,000 alerts were delivered to people throughout the affected area. So that early warning system was activated uh, before last night's quake. How soon was that lag time? And what is your advice to people who are wondering, what do I do once I actually receive an alert? Yes, so the way that Shakler works is that we don't know the earthquake is happening until it actually reaches the surface. So it's really important to know that there's a little bit of time that it takes to actually process that information and then to get the alerts out. Um, one thing that we always tell people that you, you should do what you always do. If you feel shaking, you should drop cover and hold on. Or if you get that alert, you should still take the protective action. One of the factors that determines how much time people get is how far they're away from the actual epicenter from the earthquake. And so people who are really close in may have gotten uh, no time before, but they felt the shaking, so hopefully they took the protective action. Farther away, they probably had much more time. And once they got that alert, hopefully they took that protective action. And finally, we know the USGS has been working to improve the early warning system since it was first unveiled. So can you tell us about the progress that's been made and, and what is the hope uh, for the near future here? The shake alert system is in, in a process of continuous improvement. And so what we're trying to do is constantly reduce the amount of time between when we detect the earthquake at the surface and when people get alerts on their cell phones or automated actions like slowing down trains happen. And so what we're doing constantly is looking at our detection algorithms and improving sort of the, the under the hood portions of the shake alert system. We're doing that all the time. But then we're also trying to make sure that the people who deliver the alerts, the organizations that deliver alerts on our behalf, that they're able to decrease the time between when they get the information from us and when they deliver alerts uh, to people on their phones and other things. Well, we're glad that the early shake alert worked well yesterday. So Robert DeGroote from the USGS, thank you very much. Always good information.